the dislocated thumb of Justin Fields is looks way more serious than we thought it was. The Chicago Bears starting quarterback will miss his third game in a row after dislocating his thumb against the Minnesota Vikings a few weeks ago, leaving rookie Tyson Bajan in for his third start in a row as QB1, trying to make his overall QB record above 500 again. Bajan takes on the fifth-ranked passing defense in the Carolina Panthers at home on Thursday Night Football, his second biggest challenge in it being in back-to-back -back weeks. Luke Getze better not mess this up. We learned that he's a great coordinator for the first half, but he needs to apply it to the second half in order for Tyson Bajan and the Bears to have a better draft pick moving forward and win this game. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm going to go over the impact of the Chicago Bears choice to sit Justin Fields for another game, listing him as doubtful, which then Adam Sheffer came out and said Bajan will be the starter for the Chicago Bears after a very confusing answer from Matt Eberflus, as always. But he will be the quarterback one, and I'm going to break down why this is a good thing. Because I agree with the choice. It's better for the long-term future of this team. One big reason, Justin Fields' overall future is more important than one game against the worst team in football, trying to win it in order to lessen their pick, which we own, to make it look better for us. But also, it's the fact that it's the Panthers. It's a very winnable game. Why put out the guy that you're trying to put your future on? To potentially out for even longer if he dislocates it again. If you think this is the right choice to put Beja in over fields for this game, make sure you smash that like button. And also, if you disagree or you still do agree, feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you guys. So let's get into what Beja has done for the Chicago Bears before I explain why this is a good thing. The rookie came in against the Minnesota Vikings after Fields dislocated his thumb and finished the game with 83 yards, a 71.4 pass completion percentage in one one interception. Since then, he has ramped up his play. Not all-star level, but it has gotten better. Bajan so far has started three games in his NFL career, going one in two. His one win game against the Raiders at home, his only home start with a 72.4 completion percentage of passing, 162 passing yards, and one passing touchdown. His second game was a loss to the Chargers on the road with a 67.6 .6 completion percentage, 232 passing yards, and two interceptions. Then, his loss to the Saints this past week was a 60% completion percentage, 220 yards, two passing touchdowns, and three interceptions. Again, not an all-star, but also I want to go into that Saints game real quick. Before Getze changed up the game plan like he should never have um, the, in the second half against the Saints, Bajant was 10 for 13 with 148 passing yards, two passing touchdowns, and 60 rushing yards on six attempts. This is why Luke Getze sucks, because he just goes away from what's working, and I don't get why, but hey. I don't know if he's got to deal with the Packers or something, but hey, if Getze wants to save his job and save his respect in Chicago, the little bit that he may have left with this fan base, not over here right now at the moment, just run the game plan like you did against the Saints for both halves, and I think you're going to win that game. So Bajan needs to do what he did in the first half as well against the Saints, and also, if your coach goes, go rogue on him. Who cares? If you want to win the game, I don't I don't care. Your teammates are going to respect you, and they're going to be around longer than what Getze is. So let's go into why I like this choice. Fields still has one year on his contract left after this upcoming season. Bears have the most cap in the NFL over the next two seasons as well. Fields still has a lot to prove in Chicago. If you put Fields out there against the Panthers with a thumb that isn't 100%, there is a high chance that he's going to get hurt again because of his rushing ability, because of the amount of sacks that he takes, and his offensive line. You're screwed now, because now you have to draft a quarterback because you're not going to be able to see the potential that Fields does bring and if that makes your decision entering the draft you sit him against a one in 17 let him be a hundred percent after the mini buy entering detroit and let him ball out the rest of the season that way you don't have to worry about a quarterback moving forward because you found one in justin field which i still believe in him you go out and get marvin harrison jr in the best left tackle and center in the upcoming draft and then you get more defensive help and free agency or through the draft and then you're ready to compete next year everybody wins i love this choice for the future of this team but i also look forward and i think bajan can still get the job done like this video if you agree with what i'm talking about and put your thoughts in the comment section below about what you want to see tomorrow night and thursday night football but with that thank you very much for joining this episode of just another year chicago my name is nick Rody, and as always bear down baby